In this video, I would like to share my experiences when dealing with the Grade 5 and 7 scholarships. So what is a scholarship? A scholarship can be obtained by proving your academics, sporting or overall abilities. Your given talent can give you discounts to various schools, which would otherwise be extremely cost demanding. However, in this video, I will be talking about academic scholarships. Being a scholarship student myself, I found that the journey was taxing but ultimately rewarding. The road to success was filled with many occasions when there was no guidance or resources. After watching this video, I hope that you clarify the importance of a scholarship, receive resources, understand the format of the exams, and get confident when attending a scholarship session. In Australia, the education system has many options for children of all ages. While they are public schools, many families choose to send their children to independent or private schools. These schools offer a range of services and benefits, but they also come with a higher price tag. Fortunately, there are a number of scholarship opportunities available to help ensure that families are able to co cover the cost of tuition. The common format of the exams are challenging maths questions. Some schools may employ a more challenging and mathematically demanding style of questions. However, other exam providers like EduTest and ASA change and focus more on short questions which require quick computations and calculation. What you can do to practice for these is to practice mental maths and improve your quick math skills. In addition, you have to scan paragraphs and answer many questions. Reading comprehension is a key element in the scholarship examination. EduTest in particular proposes a range of articles or extracts from famous stories and requests students to read and answer various questions in regard to the passage. It is advised to quicken your reading abilities and broaden your range of vocabulary and the passages can also be quite difficult when nearing the end. Read more books and write and remember some important words. In addition, you have to write an essay within 15 to 30 minutes. EduTest is a more time-restricted exam where students write a persuasive or creative story. Students are required to write an essay in regard to the prompt that they are given. It is recommended to practice a range of prompts and the ability to conjure an essay within the time limit. Ultimately, you should begin to start practicing with IQ type questions. For some schools, there are some IQ questions that can be quite ch challenging if you are not ready to face them. You can find some good practice tests on the Australian Mensa website. So where do you find resources? Some good resources for mathematics are AMC or the Australian Mathematical Challenge, CAT, computer, Computational and Algorithmic Thinking, APSMO, the UK Maths Challenge and the KSF. All of this can improve your mathematical and problem solving ability. The BBRAS Computational Thinking Challenge can enhance your thinking capacity. The Australian Mensa exam can prepare you for IQ type questions. And if you get a scholarship, it will be an additional qualification for the interview. What happens if you don't get a scholarship? Even if you don't get a scholarship, you'll find that you learn a multitude of skills that are needed in the years to come. As I got older, I realised that I could deal with challenging situations more work when the time is severely restricted. Overall, scholarships can be very important when growing up. After watching this video, I hope you have been briefed about the preparation of scholarships and received successful news. If you enjoyed my video and found it insightful, please subscribe and click on the like button. Details of my blog are in the description in here and also below. Check it out for more information as I don't always upload via YouTube. Thanks for watching.